students welcome to math class today we are studying about cauchy's root test what do you mean by cauchy's root test suppose let sigma u n be a series with positive terms and suppose that rho equal to limit n tends to infinity nth root of u n okay what is rho our rho is equal to limit n tends to infinity n the root of u n that is equal to limit n tends to infinity n the root can be written as u n the whole raise to 1 by n then three conditions are there the first one is if rho is less than 1 if rho is less than 1 then the series converges okay remember that if rho is less than 1 then the series converges and second condition is if rho is greater than 1 if rho is greater than 1 or rho equal to plus infinity then the series diverges Okay, if rho greater than 1 or rho equal to plus infinity, then the series diverges. And the last condition is, if rho equal to 1, the series may converge or diverge. Two possibilities are there. If rho equal to 1, then the series may converge or diverge. So that another test must be tried okay very very important Cauchy's root test three conditions are there if rho equal to limit n tends to infinity u n the whole rise to 1 by n then rho less than 1 then the series converges rho greater than 1 then the series is diverges if rho equal to 1 then the test fail we may Try another test. Okay, very very important. Please write down on your notebook. Okay, our first question is examine the convergence of the following series. We want to check it whether it is convergent or divergent using Cauchy's root test. Okay, examine the convergence of the series sigma n plus 1 into n plus 2 into etc n plus n the whole divided by n rise to n okay that is our question examine whether the series is convergent or divergent our series is sigma n plus 1 into n plus 2 into etc n plus n divided by n rise to n okay suppose that let we have u n equal to u n equal to here u n equal to n plus 1 into n plus 2 into etc n plus n divided by n rise to n then this can be written as which is equal to n plus 1 by n into n plus 2 by n into n plus 3 by n etc into n plus n by n okay i am going to split this equation okay therefore u n equal to n plus 1 into n plus 2 into etc n plus n divided by n rise to n that is equal to n plus 1 by n into n plus 2 by n plus etc n plus n by n. That is, which is equal to, this can be written as 1 plus 1 by n into
Okay. This can be written as 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n etc. 1 plus n by n. That is our un. Then limit n tends to infinity un the whole rise to 1 by n equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n into etc. 1 plus n by n the whole rise to 1 by n limit n tends to infinity u n rise to 1 by n equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n into etc 1 plus n by n the whole rise to 1 by n ok let us suppose that this is equal to n suppose that this value is equal to n then then we are taking logarithm on both sides. Suppose that this value is equal to small letter L. Then we are taking logarithm on both sides. First you may write these steps. Our next step is. Taking logarithm on both sides. That is log L equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into log 1 plus 1 by n plus log 1 plus 2 by n plus etc plus log 1 plus n by n ok taking logarithm on both sides then we will get like this which is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into sigma r equal to 1 to n log 1 plus r by n. Okay. Limit n tends to infinity 1 by n to sigma r equal to 1 to n log 1 plus r by n. Okay, now using summation property of integration, we can write this one as which is equal to using the summation property, we can write this equation as integral 0 to 1 log 1 plus x dx. Okay, that is our log here. Remember that this is our log L. Log L is equal to integral 0 to 1 log 1 plus x dx. Now we want to solve this equation to obtain the value of L. Okay, how to do it? Listen. Please write down these steps on your notebook. Integral 0 to 1 
log 1 plus x dx which is equal to x log 1 plus x 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 x by 1 plus x dx ok it is equal to when we are applying the upper limit that is 1 x is replaced by 1 then we will get log 1 into log 1 plus 1 that is log 2 minus when applying the lower limit 0 it will become 0 ok then minus when we are doing this we will get x minus log 1 plus x upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 that is equal to log 2 minus then 1 is applying here 1 minus log 2 minus 0 log 1 that is also minus 0 these terms are cancelled therefore which is equal to log 2 minus of minus log 2 is plus 2 that is 2 log 2 minus 1 2 log 2 minus 1 that is which is equal to 2 log 2 can be written as log 2 raised to 2 minus 1 that is log 4 minus 1 can be written as log e log e therefore it is equal to log 4 by e answer is log 4 by e log 4 by e is our final answer we know that it is log l log l equal to log 4 by e therefore we can write l equal to 4 by e l equal to 4 by e which is greater than 1 very very important here we will get log l equal to log 4 by e that is l equal to 4 by e which is greater than 1 therefore by Cauchy's root test sigma un is divergent our final answer is if l is greater than 1 therefore we can say that this series is divergent ok please write down on your notebook our next question is discuss the convergence of the series sigma 1 plus 1 by n the whole rise to minus n square discuss the convergence of the series sigma 1 plus 1 by n the whole rise to minus n square let us suppose that u n the whole rise to 1 by n equal to 1 plus 1 by n the whole rise to minus 2 the whole rise to 1 by n ok and is equal to that is equal to 1 plus 1 by n the whole rise to n square divided by n is minus n minus n can be written as n the whole rise to minus 1 ok then now we are applying limit limit n tends to infinity u n the whole rise to 1 by n equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n the whole rise to n 
all rise to minus 1. That is, we know that limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n, the whole rise to n, that is equal to e. Therefore, it is equal to e rise to minus 1, that is 1 by e. We know that 1 by e is less than 1. 1 by e is less than 1. If rho is less than 1, then the series is converges. Therefore, this series is converges. Please write down on your notebook.